Let's record this. So when you're not comboing people with Dark Depths and Thespian Stage, you're locking people out of the game by wastelanding them a bunch with Life from the Loam and Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter lets you grind through their basic lands, eventually it turns into a strip mine. And you play Exploration to play multiple lands in a turn. And you have Punishing Fire to beat up the like the little creature decks like the Stoneforge. Like Dead Guy Ale never beats this deck. And this is very good against Delver and Pyromancer and stuff like that. You have Crop Rotation for some tricky things like Glacial Chasm here to fog attacks. Maze of Ith as removal spells. Caracas, Horizon Canopy, stuff like that. I don't know half. I don't know what infra and mol are. So Javier, so you're gonna have to be more specific. Alt wing con demoralizing the opponent. What happens if somebody lands a creature that doesn't die to punish fire? You have maze of ith, and you have blocking with a twenty twenty. This deck is stone dead to big red. Correct. Uh, I've probably played lands with big red two or three dozen times, and I think I've lost once, and it was to a version that was flashing black for dark confidant and abrupt decay. Yeah, you often gamble for loam, but sometimes you're gambling for, like, Sphere of Resistances and Thorn of Amethyst in the post-board games, or occasionally an Exploration to get your Acceleration getting. No, MODO, M-O-D-O, is the old acronym for Magic Online Digital Objects. Caracas does answer some random creatures. One of the biggest color, yeah, this is, Drop of Honey is, is pretty decent. And if you're playing lands in paper, you can get your Drop of Honeys for only three or four hundred dollars. It's very, very reasonably priced. Uh, there's actually no Molten Vortex in here. Um, Jody said to cut the Molten Vortex, so I cut it. Yeah, you just want to loam. There's a Crucible here on the sideboard, which I, I assume for decks that are surgically extracting you, but... Is this Q-Time normal? Yeah, the Legacy Q-Times are fairly long, Dan. Because Legacy is astronomically expensive on Magic Online for whatever reason. Hey! Ginger Cakes 13 with the $4.99 a month resubscription. New subscription. God, I always say resubscription. Thank you and welcome. I appreciate it. How do you think this is? I think lands is actually really well positioned, especially if you can win the first couple rounds. The decks that are being successful in the Legacy Challenge, especially, are very fair and mid rangey. They're like, the, the, the format is basically kind of inbreeding on itself in the successful decks, where like the decks that are doing better are trying to like cannibalize the other fair decks that are running all the unfair decks out of the format. So, like, playing something like this is very powerful. The old, wait six minutes to queue, opponent doesn't click the button, so we fail to queue. Yeah, lands is very good against Delver, and it's very good against the decks that are trying to prey on Delver. Yeah, I think lands is a good choice for the challenge. Like, I played, I played against five... Five decks. Last weekend, I played six, all six rounds of the challenge, and I played against two Delver Mirrors and three decks that were trying to beat Delver, and I went 2-1 against the decks trying to beat Delver playing Delver, which is funny. But, like, this deck would, would cannibalize the first five matches I played in the challenge. I'm just waiting to punish a few people here. Waiting to punish a few people. Thank you to everyone that's hanging out here this morning. Got about 350 people for some early Wednesday morning legacy action. They can't Leovold you if they don't have lands. Exactly. Who thinks that increase? Well, you see. Is this the immortal queue, right? This, no, that's that's not true. I literally just so when I when I borrow cards from MTGO traders, I hit checkout on their website, and this deck only costs eleven $1 hundred dollars to build on Magic Online. 
It's only, it's only $1,100 to build on Magic Online, which to be fair, in paper, two drops of honey cost almost $1,100, so you know, details, priorities. <laughs> if, I, if I voted for Tron, we'd be in match three by now, you're not wrong. Uh, I think the sands of keep. And that's like, the, the, the hands you keep and don't keep are like, the most important things in a deck like lands. So like, I could see maybe this hand not being a keep because it doesn't have any of our accelerants or a gamble in it. But like, I've got a wasteland and I've got a ghost quarter and I've got Malone, so... Who's ready to get him, chat? Are you ready to get him? Ready to get, I hope our opponent's ready to get wasted. If we're a true professional, we're going to draw a gamble or a exploration here. That's a third loam. That's not particularly good. All right, wasteland you. Go. That one's kind of dece. Dece nuts. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to fetch. Am I doing this this turn? Am I casting low? Am I get just casting mana bond this turn? I If I wait to mana bond, I could play it around... I'm going to wait to Mana Bond, because I could play around Spell Pierce with it, which I think is worthwhile. Spell Pierce is very common out of decks with uh, these kind of cards in them, so I'm going to wait to play around. Um, I'm going to wait to play around that, I think. Get your basic land. Yeah, oh god, don't Blood Moon me. Please don't. Please don't bloodbeard me. Have a hard opponent. Hmm. Maybe I was supposed to have... I didn't actually really dredge any lands, huh? Opponent just doesn't want to play Magic anymore. Yeah! Nice, fair, mid-range deck, opponent. Nice, fair, mid-range deck. Alright, we're going to bring in some Corrosive Grips because they usually have Blood Moon in their board. Oh, Jody Keefe. Uh... I feel like he had a Lands Primer on Star City, right? Do you have sideboarding notes in here? Please tell me you have sideboarding notes in here. Engine, acceleration... Oh, he doesn't have sideboarding notes in here. That's sad. He doesn't have- he doesn't have sideboarding notes in here though, right? I'm not crazy. Looks like Miracle. So, I want trackers. I'm pretty sure I want these cards. I'm going to cut this. Tabernacle's probably fine because they likely have Mentor post board. I'm going to cut some Maze of If. That's probably not particularly good in this matchup. Barbarian rings probably fine. What are the what are the other trims that we do? Uh, they often have click. I guess we're killing click with fire though. Oh, chasm. Yeah, cutting chasm sounds great. I think this is fine. 
Do I want three K commands, j K grips, just like assuming they're going to be on, assuming they're going to be on a uh, Blood Moon post board? Eh, I'm not going to assume. Let's wait just to his final hedge. It smells like I might have a crappy job to take care of. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching, folks. For those of you that are timing me, I want double credit for that one because I had to change two diapers. Sorry about the delay. For those of you that are new here, I am a father of two. My oldest is three and my younger one is two, so have to do daddy duty sometimes. The first hand was seven lands, easy mulligan. This hand might be, might be a bad keep. Where are my wastelands at? Um, I think I'm gonna play this, and I'm gonna upkeep crop rotation this ghost quarter for a wasteland. They could have Counterspell or Spell Pierce here, but then I get to use them to use their mana on this turn. I think this is fine. Get rid of that land, please.
Yeah, I think the blue-white approach deck has a good mono-red matchup, like Matt said. I think it's the deck seems pretty reasonable just in general, but I like it against mono-red for sure. Look at that! Blood Moon away, opponent. Alright, hopefully we don't get surgically extracted here. Did I bring in my Crucible? I did bring in the Crucible if we get surgically extracted. Okay. Oh, if we get flustered into surgical here, I'm going to be a little sad. Hmm, that's annoying. It's not a deck you can just pick up. Definitely, definitely want to get a bunch of reps in with it. Pass the turn here. We'll K-grip this at their end step. Okay, so they have rip. Probably bring in the third K-grip for their last game. Oh, they have Stoneforge Mystic too. Okay, so this is a Stoneforge Mystic deck. It's not. They're probably playing something similar to what we played yesterday. Am I just supposed to go for it here? Um, you should play Tron instead. <laughs> Fair mid-range decks like Loam are awful in modern. They're really, really bad. Am I supposed to go for it? I feel like I'm supposed to go for it. Because that's how magic works, so rest in peace, exile itself under its own effect when it gets destroyed. And by the time Corrosion Grip has finished resolving, the rest in peace is no longer in place, so the Corrosion Grip goes to the graveyard. Yeah, I think I'm going to K-Grip, sack this forest, and then I can Ghost Quarter this, and then Stage Target the Depths. I'm like, this is awkward if they have Plow, but, like, if they have Plow, I gain 20 life and, like, can draw a Loam or a Crucible and, like, reassemble afterwards, so I think that's fine. So I'm making sure this resolves before I pop the Ghost Quarter. Again... Wastelands 5 through 8, folks. Wastelands 5 through 8. <laughs> why don't you play Rishadam Port? Because Jody Keefe is smart. That's why we don't play Rishadam Port. Ain't nobody got time for that. And like, I feel like, oh, it does still say, it does still say Dead Gale, thank you. Choose a Dark Disc, I'd like to keep this one. Give it to me, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 
<laughs> Give it to me, baby. All the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Do you do 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 where my life from the loams at? And again, I think it's right to go for that there. Like, the upside is high. Like, we're like we're literally not doing anything else. The, the only thing we could do if we're not doing that there is, like, cycle this horizon canopy. And that's, like, not particularly appealing. So I think, like, making them have it there is reasonable. So we're taking five a turn from this, they're drawing extra cards, so like our chance of our chance of winning this game are pretty low. Yeah, yeah, this deck costs infinite dollars in paper and on Magic Online. It's a little over a grand on Magic Online. It's what, like five three or four grand in paper. If we hit a loam and they don't hit a rip or a blood moon, we could we could probably pressure our way through this. Whatever they have going on. Yeah, I think we want all the grips. I agree. I didn't know they were playing a Stoneforge Mystic deck game one, which was part of the advantage of the game from conceding. I hedged and brought in two. There's no Sajiri step. There are. There's a link to the deck list below the stream. Big button says MTG decks. If you're on mobile, tap the screen, press my avatar, slide to the right, get to the information section, and then uh, send Twitch an email asking them why they hid the information section. So, I am going to take zero responsibility for the cards that are in this deck list. Um, we are playing Jody Keefe's deck list card for card. He said, play these magic cards, and I said, okay, I'm going to play these magic cards. If you are not an expert in a deck, you should probably play the deck list that the smarter people that have played the deck list a lot have built and have worked on. Because they've probably spent more time playing it than you have, especially if you're new, and I'm definitely new at playing lands. Pretty, pretty dead now. Let's bring in that last, uh... That last Carusin grip. The extra fire is great. I didn't know they were on Stoneforge Mystic.
Probably avoid the advanced list, but that's- that's different. So, like, Joel Asset didn't play traditional miracles. Like, it's pretty commonly known that, like, there was a Joel Asset miracles list. Like, that's- that's different than, like, playing what is commonly accepted as- This is the stock lands list. The stock lands list doesn't play Sajiri Step. So, like, again, that's- it's different than what you're describing. I don't... What do I want to cut? I brought in the extra Corrosion Grip. What else did I bring in? An extra Punishing Fire. Um... I don't need Ancient Tomb. Is that cutting too many lands? I wonder what the minimum land count is that I need in this deck. I feel like Ancient Tomb is for these things, so if we're not bringing these things in. Cut Mana Bond and Tome. Okay, yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. I don't hate cutting mana bond, because, like, we, we need actual spells post-board in this matchup. I muted myself for half a second while the kid was blowing the flute. Uh, yeah, that sounds great, right? Twenty-nine is the minimum. That's lower than I thought. That's lower than my gut said, but, you know, fair. Oh, should I have gambled on one here? Nah, I'm just gonna hold the gamble for now. I don't want to discard this Corrosion Grip necessarily. This might be really useful. If they rip us here, it's not that big of a deal because we get to K-Grip it away and then gamble for another one. Yay! You're not, like, looking for something in particular here? You want that? You want it like that? There you go. Bye, Bye D. It'd be nice if Magic Online remembered shit like that. I move, I literally move that down almost every game, and occasionally I forget. Just milled another Corrosion Grip. That's a tilt. I don't know. Probably when they can read and write proficiently. I'm gonna play this Ghost Quarter out before I play this in case they fluster storm me. And if they have ripped, they would have ripped me last turn, right? No idea. I'm not thinking about brewing lands. I'm just worrying about playing lands in the iteration that it's currently in. It's a uh, blood moon. Alright, so I'm playing the stage out. Next turn, I could play this Dark Depths. Now, 
Next turn, I can play this Dark Depths, tap one, two, three, and then still, okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna pass the turn here, I think. Sure, you have a Jace. No, we've literally milled over our only our two other Corrosin grips. We are not casting this gamble. Okay, so what we're doing here, chat, we're going to draw a card for the turn. Am I gonna dredge the loam? I might dredge the loam. Now I'm just gonna draw a card for the turn. We drew a land. Alright, I'm gonna play this Dark Depths. This Dark Depths currently makes mana because there's a Blood Moon in play. So at their end step, we're gonna K-grip the Blood Moon using the Dark Depths of Forest and this. And then we'll use this, the Mox Diamond, and the Stage to make a 2020. No, I'm not gripping them now. Why would I grip them now? I want them to think that they're gonna have this Blood Moon in play and not be able to crack a fetch to clear this Jace Storm. We're actually just dead, right? I, like, I've milled a Tireless Tracker and two Corrosion Grips. Great, we're actu actually just dead. Oh, I can make a 2020 in response. Thank you, glad I didn't click. Yep. Good call, they already used their Jace. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, thinking before we do things. Keep this one. And they tapped this so they don't have white mana. Thank you, chat. I'm aware I'm dumb. Yes! 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 Thank you, chat! God bless chat! Chat, you're so good to me, chat! You won us the match! Saving all my fun points! Oh, we're waiting for the next match of Papa. Just like to say good morning, afternoon, and good night to everyone or every out in the world. Thanks to you spend part of your day here with us while I make stupid mistakes and chat pulls me out. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a TCG player and content producer. So if you're enjoying what you see, please use that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps other people find my stuff. If you're really enjoying what you see and you want to help enable me to make more awful mistakes, please consider subscribing on Twitch or becoming a patron on Patreon. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell Magic Online cards with you. If you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout there, you will save 8% on your singles orders. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells physical TCG cards, Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. You can use code Jeff5 to save 5% on your orders from them. InkedGaming.com can help you customize your gaming experience. And using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom play mats and mouse pads and sleeves. And finally, SpareDeck.com offers kind of a unique service. They will rent you any physical standard or modern deck. Why own when you can rent? So you can check them out and you can hold 7 to save 7% on your rentals from them. Still waiting on this legacy match to queue. You want this? Mm hmm. All right, that's it. That's the last of the Doritos. All shell, no skill. Exactly. I mean, we are playing the Tron deck of, of Legacy, right? This deck is basically Tron. You want to watch a bus? You want Blue's Clues? Uh-huh, okay. Waiting to queue, waiting to queue. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Get him, get him good. Uh, foot in the mouth. Do you have, do you have, do you have, uh, Netflix? Search for Tayo, the bus, and you will, you will be able to watch the bus yourself. Uh, yeah, that sounds decent, right? What's going on, Jody? There's the man, the myth, the legend, Jody Keefter in chat. Make sure to click on him and head over to his Twitch channel and give him a follow.
Wait, do I? Okay, now I'm not an expert here. Jody, what do you think of this? Do I play the mana bond and then trigger it at end of turn and then ghost quarter them and with the tabernacle? Oh, I just go tabernacle pass? Tabernacle pass? Tabernacle pass? Oh, exploration tabernacle. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This is why Jody's the... This is why Jody gets the big bucks. Don't daze me, bro. Go. Uh, no, they don't watch Disney stuff on Netflix. Look at that. Just let, let Chip... Let chat play the deck for me. Lord knows I can't do it. Maybe we'll figure this out. Ma Matt, I'm going to need you to come over on Sunday, Matt, and help me play the challenge. Hey! Aflet with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Subscriptions are the best way you can support my content here, so welcome. Looking like Grixis Delver. Twitch plays less. <laughs> I know I'm not playing Delver on, on Sunday. I'm either playing this or I'm playing the Just Guy Stone Blade deck. I think I'm going to play this. Thanks, I appreciate it. Just trying to be so. Now am I just like, am I just like wastelanding them twice here? Like ghost quarter them and then wasteland them. Is that? Do we hate that? Do we hate taking them off the? I know Jody said to try and combo them as soon as possible, but I feel like ghost quartering them and wastelanding them is reasonable. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You play this mana bonds too. Let's try and get him. I'm pretty sure they're playing Grixis Delver. So... Oh, they can't- they can't daze me if I take them off this anyway. So if they- if they're not playing Grixis Delver and they have base 6 Cisco's Quarters Force. Sweet. They are playing Grixis Delver. Alright, Mana Bond. Uh, I always have space in the queue. Uh, I currently have two, two deck lists in the donation queue. So, if you wanted to try and get into the queue, there are there are two ahead of you. I generally play one to two a week. So, if you sent money for a donation deck list, I would probably get to it next week. Don't trigger to mask the hand. I guess that's fair. Because, like, we have the exploration anyways. Neat. Gosh, you're so smart. <laughs> How about Skype in a bit, right? <laughs> they do get to take away our Ghost Quarter and our Wasteland here, which is kind of sad. Ooh, that's pretty good. Alright, let's draw. Let's draw a loam, shall we? I don't really want to do anything with this crop rotation right now, right? Yeah.
Gamble doesn't do much either. Like, I guess I could gamble for P-Fire, right? I hate that. This is bad if he dazes me. No, if I get the... If I get Loam, he just eats the Loam. But with Punishing Fire, because I have two Groves... He has a death right Shaman, people. And, like, because I have two Groves here, I could just, like, wait to get Punishing Fire back next turn. I even I even hit the fifty percent and put the fire in the grave. So if they fetch here, I'm gonna put the punishing fire back in my hand. I guess this is bad if they have stifle. Rubland. Okay, so not Delver? Must not be Delver. You can't always bat 100, right? I'd like to draw a mana producing land here. Perfect. Yeah, it could become some kind of Deathblade deck. Oh yeah, I probably should have fired upkeep. Oh, during their upkeep, right. Alright, well now we're going to do it in response to this so they don't have mana for spell pierce up. Yeah, I think, I think Lands is probably... Lands is probably like tier 1, tier 1.5. I think Lands is very good against most of the decks that are good in Legacy. Oh, I should pick it up too. Oh, you expected a force. Okay. I think it's cute that they're still trying. They're down on clock. Say, are they up on clock? They're not up on clock, though. So, like... Yeah, like, Legacy's a format where people, like, play whatever they want, right? They get here. They got a Sword of Fire Dice. Mmm, true name. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> so we're looking for, like, another Ghost Quarter or Wasteland, ideally. Should I... And so if I draw another Mana Producing Land, I probably want to... We're basically playing Trot at all formats, yep. Should I... Should I crop rotate this into a Wasteland?
You, I, you'd hold off for the combo? I kinda wanna just wasteland them. For when he wastelands me. Okay, I'm gonna play this for now. That might be wrong. I feel like I want the land in play. <sighs> yeah, see that's the problem. So like, I, I feel like I'm supposed to take them off of this. Yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to take them off a of land here. Oh, there's a donation button below the stream. After you send it through there and it goes through a little notification will pop up on stream and I'll get an alert in my in my thing. And never three drop this turn. There's the shuffle. Yeah, I'm gonna wasteland them, take them off this blue source so they can stop cantripping. Opponent doesn't want to play magic with me anymore. It's unfortunate. Come back, opponent. Come back. This just like board in fair cards. So we can cut Ancient Doom. Jody, you're here. What's the most lands I can board out? What's the most lands I can board out? Uh, a drop of honey? Is this good for true name? Kills death rate shaman too, right? My gut says I want these five cards. So we need cuts. We trim... A Dark Depths, maybe. I, I know the Ancient Tomb's a fine trim. Kakarakis, it's a good one. No, Drop does not target. It destroys the creature with the least power. Got a Mana Bond, sure. We got one more. Punishing Fire is insane. Oh, Glacial Chasm's fine because it can stall a true name with a piece of equipment on it. Crap rotation seems good. Barbarian Ring's probably fine. It lets us crap rotate. Into ways to kill Deathrite Shaman. They don't have basics, so Ghost Quarter is great. Probably a gamble. Okay, I like that. Let's do it. Everyone for hanging out here this morning. A little over 400 people. I play some legacy lands. My gut says this is the low end of keepable. If I say something that's objectively wrong, Jody, yell at me. But, because uh, I like, I genuinely don't know what I do. I feel my guts. This is like we probably have a lot of things to draw, a lot of draws that make this hand decent. This is the key, the key to playing against thoughts these decks. Leave your good cards on top of your deck. Maybe I'm supposed to play this in case they have a him. Uh, I think we're gonna play this match and one more with lands, and then we'll get to the Wednesday hexing. Thanks, King Fed. I appreciate that. I 
I think we're going to play the Empress deck some more. I, uh, I'm working on some changes to it. And usually I play a couple different things when we play Hex. So we'll probably start with the Empress deck and then pivot over to, um, pivot over to some control. Gotta figure out which of the three. I'm, I'm between, like, Empress, Redlings, and the Sapphire Diamond control deck for their 1k on Saturday. So, I need to figure out which of those seems most appealing. Let's draw a mana producing land here so we can punish this with fire. That is technically a mana producing land. Tech technically got what I asked for. God bless. Be more specific, Hoagland. God. God, I'm new at this. The Escalate deck is fun, but I don't think the Escalate deck is super competitive. Yeah, the Escalate deck is the Storm-esque deck that I've been playing in Hex. It's, uh, it's okay against the control decks, but it's really pretty bad against the aggressive decks. I think I'm supposed to hold on this crop rotation. Hex has a ban- a watch and ban list. They do not- they do not change the text on cards like Hearthstone does. Am I supposed to hold Punishing Fire up here? Yeah, I'm just supposed to pass, right? Or actually, if he fetches, I P-Fire in response, right? It's okay, like, we're not- we're not in a great spot, but I feel like we're not out of this game by any means. If he, like, has Force plus Surgical, we could be in trouble. I mean, we've eroded cards in the past. Like, that's a thing Magic's done in Magic's history is a rot of them. That's fair. And again, I'm not saying Magic should do that. Not saying magic should do that, but I'm saying they have in the past. I think I'm gonna punishing fire this in response. Because if they have fluster storm or spell pierce, I wanna make their brainstorm worse. This might be aggressive. Like if we get surgical, I'm gonna be kinda sad. Opponent's deck plays Swords to Plowshares usually, right? There's a Wasteland. So, didn't hold the crop rotate up, gonna get punished. I feel like they're about to surge across. Just a Leovold, sure. Okay, we're getting getting surgicals here. On my punishing fire. Um I'm going to crop rotate for a Grove of the Burn Willows. Did you let me untap? I 
So my opponent should not have let me untap here. Unless they have another surgical or a force. And even if they have those things, I feel like you're probably not supposed to let me untap. So we're going to return this punishing fire to my hand to get it, uh... Surgical is countered upon resolution. This means if I wasteland him, he gets to draw a card, right? I think I'm supposed to waste them off of white anyways. Or should I waste them off of drop so they can't play their... No, they can play Deathrite Shaman off of this anyways. Do you think I'm supposed to wasteland them here? You want a different show? Yeah. I choked their mana by a lot if I wasteland them here, it feels like. Because, like, they're going to have to pay one for the tabernacle, too. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's interesting. It's tough being too. Basically just looking for a loam at this point. Wasted the rock trod piece, right? Am I supposed to kill this, just so they don't get the Exalted trigger? I feel like that might be true. Like, takes, uh... I think I'm gonna Punishing Fire this. They get to draw a card, but like, it means I take less damage from this thing. Takes it to a five turn clock versus a four turn clock. How, how do I kill Leovold? I only have three mana producing lands. I'm gonna let them pay for this and then we'll kill it with fire. This card is super fair. Can't even maze of it without them drawing a card. 
That's a true name. True name's gonna be have us pretty iced. Yep. Probably just dead here. It's fine, we get to play game three on the plate. Alright, a list of cards that we're good to draw. That's still not gonna be fast enough. I think that's not gonna be fast enough, right? Because we're gonna take six here and then we're gonna take three. I don't even think drop does it, because we're at nine. I guess they could choose to... Oh, wait, do I get to pick? You choose... Oh, sweet. So I get to kill True Name. And then I could draw Maze or Mana Producing Land. Okay. Okay. If they play a dork here, I can kill it with fire. Don't play two guys. Alright, we're technically not dead yet. Alright, now we're dead. Now we're dead. Now we're dead. They needed. They needed to have three guys. If we would have, um, would have been able to fire this, and then in response to this trigger, fire this, and then this could kill this, and then we could draw Maze of Ith for the turn. Well, it's a small out, but it was a possibility. With three creatures, we're just dead. We wouldn't have hit it anyways. That's fine. All right. Uh, I think we're just clicking a bit. I think I like how we boarded. Declan, do you want me to wipe your hands? I'm gonna go wipe Declan's hands, he's been eating again. Hey, Matzi Katzi. Thanks everyone for hanging out here today. We're playing some lands. Uh, I think we're 1 0 in this league. Is this the second match? These games are so long, I'm losing track. Yes, yeah, the second match going to game three here against uh, Four Color Mid Range Bush. Story of Declan, yep. Declan's tiny, short, fat life so far. He's been eating again. The, TL, the TLDR of Declan. Waiting to pop, waiting to pop. I uh, oh, cheerio, waiting to pop. Funny, the Kiki Court video from the other night has three times as many views as the standard video from the same same day. Hands, hands great, right? These are wastelands in this matchup. It's got exploration on one. Got a crop rotation. Uh, I think the only mistake we possibly made last game was keeping our opening hand. I felt like the opening hand, we, we started the game by saying it was on the low end of keepable and there were cards that could make it pan out reasonably and we didn't hit any of those cards really. <laughs> 
So I'm going to ghost quarter them and then crop rotate for a tabernacle here, I think. I could crop rotate for Tabernacle and cast Loam, right? Yeah, I like that. Alright, so let's do this. Oh, are we having fun yet, opponent? You think so? You think I'm supposed to save it for the combo here? I feel like I'm not supposed to turbo combo against a deck that has, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That has swords to plowshares on it, but maybe that's wrong? Maybe that's incorrect? I feel like if we're playing against, like, Grixis Delver, turboing to whatever is fine, but, like... We're just like digging for a punishing fire here. <laughs> like hoping to dodge surgical, digging into a punishing fire. I'm gonna go ahead and go squirter you. Brainstorm resolves. We'll cast life from the loam and pick all these lands up. They could have a surgical here. Although I think they should have surgical. If they had surgical, they should have looked for them before I dredged the loam. Actually, this is small, but I'm going to play this other ghost quarter out because if they have a surgical, they might surgical my ghost quarters here. Care of that. It's it's wasteland to be fair. It's technically not strip mined, it's wasteland, okay? We've got the combo set up for next turn now. This deck is literally the Tron deck of legacy, just like mono mono lopsided matchups. Let's the death right shop and die. Opponent chose to shuffle. Yeah, but if they don't have basics, it's just wasteland. If they have basics and it's killing them, then sure, it's strip mine. But most of the time when you're playing it, it's just another wasteland. Sean is really exciting, huh? I know, I know. Sean the sheep is super exciting. This hand could draw a land, or I could gamble for a grove. I think gambling for grove probably makes this hand keepable. Maybe. Maybe. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Drew land like a professional. Sign me up. That's sad because I can't gamble now. Yep. Legacy Fish does not play spreading seas. I'm gonna kill this one in response here. I just want to use my mana this turn. And if they use um if they use curse catcher to counter this, that's fine. Next turn, I'll be able to play Thespian Stage, then Punishing Fire or Lord through the Curse Catcher. So it's like, whatever. And then the following turn, we just like play Dark Depths and that. They do... G Legacy Fish does generally play Wasteland, though. So that is... That is something... That is something to keep in mind. Did it say my opponent was 3-0? They are 3-0. Look at that. I think Master of Waves. Oh, they're putting lo they're putting it on two. Cute. Cute. It's a good thing I have the combo in my hand. All right, I'm like a hundred and ten percent supposed to do this now, right? There's like, they they very likely play Wasteland. They almost certainly don't play a way to interact with this. I'm just supposed to do this now, right? That yep was for me doing this now, Jody. Delay sucks. I'm supposed to just do this thing now. Never wait. Yeah, I'm pretty... Let's go. They have Chalice on one. Keep that one. Trigger. Oh, no! No, wait. Wait, this is fine. This is fine. I can Grove return fire and then fire make them sacrifice it. I can... I, this is fine. This is fine. They're still dead. They're still dead. We got the Grove. Gosh, we're so good at magic. This is fine. We're good. We're good. You just fire it. Yep. That's... That's funny, though. You have to admit, that's... That's clever. That's clever. All right, Punishing Fire. Return to my hand. Yes. Triggers for everyone. Trigger, Triggers all around, really, opponent. Oh, no, I had to give them a life. I had to give them a life to do this, so they're, they're dead in two. They're dead in two. They could, they could technically, technically, they're not dead this turn. It's fine. We had to, though. Fire you can kill an illusion pretending to be a bear at lead. Yep. The illusion is scared of fire. It's scared of fire. <laughs> All right. What a what a weird game of magic. What a strange and interesting game. Yay, magic! Both teams tried their darndest. All right. This seems great. Am I bringing in K grip? I feel like I'm bringing in K grip. Caracas is poop. Uh, Ancient Tomb, probably poop. Am I trimming a Ghost Quarter in this matchup? I'm not Ghost Quartering them out, right? Like, Ghost, ghost Quarter is just like killing a Mutavault at worst. At best. And then I can trim something else here. Oh, I trimmed alone by mistake. That was a mistake. You like Tomb when you have K-Grip. That's fair. Okay, trim another Ghost Quarter. I 
Fire seems great. Enter me gamble. Enter me gamble. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I got there. Oh, wait. I need to cut one more card now. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. All right. Uh, did I got another ghost quarter. Mana bond is mana bond the last cut. Is it mana bond or another ghost quarter? I feel like it could be either of those. Cut that tomb. I. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna cut the mana bond because of the chalice on one. I think. I think the chalice on one makes me wanna trim some extra one drops. Can I keep this hand? Can I? Am I allowed to keep this hand? Is this? Is this? Is this? I f I f I feel like I'm allowed to keep this. I feel like I'm allowed to keep this. <laughs> oh, magic! What a silly game! What? What a silly game! Go. Like, if they wasteland this, then they're less likely to have wastelands for these. <laughs> hmm, it's not a wasteland. We're all done, Chips. Do you want... Do you want Cheerios? Do you want Cheerios? No, there's no more Chips left, buddy. Sorry. Maybe I'm supposed to have kept that to make mana for this stage, but I just really like wastelanding people. I have this deficiency. I really enjoy wastelanding people. It might make me a bad person, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Oh, oh, Maze of Ith, go. Do you want a snack, Jacob? Do you want Cheerios? There's no more chips, dude. I mean, the deck's called lands. It's not called spells, people. Sure, you have a relic. More in a damage chill. Man, life's tough when you run out of chips. Look at it. We got stages and stages and stages for days. Namichael with the 19 month resubscription. You were one of the first. Welcome back and thank you for the continued support. And stuck it out through my magic hiatus. All right, I'm gonna give you some Cheerios since you said you are hungry. But this is all you have. There are no more chips. I know it's it's a hard duck life. Come at me, bro. Jake. He's so sad. All right. Man, this maze is really confusing. I'm going to play a third stage this turn. God, how great would it be if we win this game without casting a spell? That would be, like, like very lit, right? So we drew the Ancient Tomb, so if I would have played the Dark Depths last turn, we would have been able to combo this turn. Tilt. The Chalice of the Void, Silver Galadep, sure. Alright, this Thespian stage is gonna target this Maze of Ith. Copy his island? Why? Back to basics. Okay. I think I'm supposed to wait this time because he has Phantasmal Image. He might not have Wasteland due to budget restrictions. He might not have Wasteland due to budget restrictions. No, because these two still make mana and this one can copy.
No, it's a basic island. It'd be a basic island with the copy ability. Hi, guys. Hi boys. You all, you all climbed in here? Come hang out by dad. There's your Cheerios, yep. yep. So we're gonna target Dark Depths here. They have like Vapor Stag or something weird. They might have Echoing Truth, actually. <laughs> Echoing Truth's a real card they could have. <laughs> Pro tip, don't pay mana for your Merit Liege. It's indestructible. Damn, we're gonna have to cast a spell to win this game. That's so sad. That's so sad. We're not in a bad spot by any means, like, we're fine. That's a true name. That's annoying. So I agree, some green meta would not hurt. Uh, Jacob, you, Jacob, you need to put this down. Put Dad's Wi-Fi card down, please. So can't maze this because it's protection from things, and Maze of Ith is confirmed a thing. Dark Depths, go. You can't wasteland basics, Burgle. Uh... Sure? So you're dead? Non basic lad, sure, so you're dead? GG? Are we gonna win without casting a spell? I think we're gonna win without casting a spell, chat fam. I guess. I should technically, in case there's something weird here, I should do this with the Ancient Tomb, so I have this other Thespian stage untapped. Technically speaking, this is optimal. They should, they should be dead here. Yeah, okay. Bona concedes. Alright. Just clean. Clean 3-0. Brush the shoulders off here with Lance, you know? Basically... Basically a lands, lands expert here. And by that I mean God bless chat and Jody Keefe being in chat. You know, to prevent save me, save me from myself. I think this deck's a great metagame choice. I think I'm going to play this in the Legacy Challenge on Sunday. Like, the Legacy Challenge has been like increasingly inbred with super fair decks. That last game was great. I, magic's fun. TCGs are a good time. You know, it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we going to do this? All right, sure. Alright, I think that's going to be my last uh, match of magic for the morning, so...